Tyler here again, here to show you another passkey demo that I've been working on. Uh, if you've spent any time on passkey.sorbonnebyexample.org, you may be familiar with the initial version uh, passkeys that I that I built and demoed. It's uh, very cool, and I'm extremely excited about it. But it does pose one potential issue that I want to address in this uh, V2, and that is that passkeys are domain bound. You can't take a passkey that you use on apple.com and use it uh, to register on Facebook. Like they're, they're passwords or replacements for passwords. So the intention is that they uh, be bound to the domain. So this creates a problem that if you are on coolnft.com and you make a passkey there, you can't go and use that wallet uh, over in some uh, other DeFi or Web3 experience. They're domain bound. And so what most... Um, passkey wallets or wallets that I've seen so far, what they implement is kind of a super wallet example or uh, implementation where you've got a main singular passkey wallet. Uh, and then as other domains come in, they send transactions to that singular wallet for that wallet to sign and then send uh, that to the, to the blockchain. And then you've got your result. I don't love that because it ties the, the uh, wallet to that domain uh, so if the domain goes down or uh, has some issues, you're not going to have access to your wallet. And then you're also uh, encountering this experience where you're always going to need to have this pop-up that, uh, that comes up uh, that you'll need to kind of be shipped over to some other super wallet domain, sign the transaction, then move back. You'll interact for a while. You need to sign something again, and you're shipped off to super wallet. This is where we're used to this experience, but it's not a very good one, and it's not necessary. Uh, anymore. And so that's what I want to demonstrate. Um, and just like real quick, this is what um, Coinbase is doing with their smart wallet uh, example. When you mint something, um, doing this transaction signing for minting, you're sent over to the keys.coinbase.com, their super wallet interface where you confirm, use your pass key, uh, and then are sent back to the to the site. I don't love that experience. I would really much prefer when you click Mint and are interacting with a wallet that it actually just does all the web auth and stuff right here. But I do like that it would all be a single wallet. So one wallet, but no shipping back and forth from like a super a super wallet. So all that to say, here's my here's my demo. Uh, we've got this crazy application called Super Peach. Um, what we're gonna do first is register a new super key. So this is very similar to what passkey.sorbonne by example does. I'm going to make a brand new super wallet. So the singular wallet that all the other domains will, will use. So what's happening in the background is it deploys this contract, this abstract account, smart wallet to, to the blockchain. Uh, all very good. I need to make sure we've got some lumens in there. We do. We've got 100. That's good. But we don't have any. Uh, we got one, the one signer. So by default, it gets its own signer from the, the super wallet. This is the wallet that'll be used uh, initially when we add additional signers. So let's go over to site A. We're gonna create a signer, and this is going to create a new passkey, which is domain bound to this uh, 432 uh, address as opposed to the 431. So we'll open this up, create a new, uh, a new passkey. And then it's going to open up uh, on the window from 4321. So this is similar to the Coinbase model. The difference being uh, the thing that you're signing is adding this passkey to the super wallet. So it's going to be this multiple signatures, almost like abstract signers rather than abstract counts. We'll add this signer. This is going to ask for our super peach uh, passkey, the one that we created uh, originally. And what this will do is add this passkey as a valid signer on that uh, Super Peach account. Assuming that that all goes well, uh, this contract will go back. You'll notice that this contract is the same. And when we click transfer, instead of opening up another pop-up window, we will just get the uh, passkey right here. We'll sign that. That'll get shipped off to uh, the blockchain. We'll get an alert pop-up if it was successful. And if we were to refresh, we'll notice this go down to 99 XLM because we spent uh, from our account. So we've got two signers on our uh, on our Super Peach account. If we do, we can do the exact same thing with 
B, this will be uh, identical in every way to A, other than it's not uh, borrowing or sharing, it's adding a brand new signer to the Super Peach account, the same contract, and assuming again that that's successful and we have that uh, signer added, we'll get the same contract address across all of our different sites. No additional pop-ups, just the, the passkey right in line. So you get the really nice inline experience while still only having one key and everything's opt-in, right? So we have to opt-in on the domain that we are okay with. It goes back to the super uh, peach account. So uh, no funny business going on, three signers. Uh, we can also add additional functionality for deleting signers. You could even add, uh, add additional policies if you wanted, saying that uh, when you're adding things, I want to limit the uh, assets that it has access to, the amount of transfers it can do. You, because we have access to that check auth function that we can add arbitrary logic to, you could add all kinds of crazy policies and stuff that would make this uh, really flexible and powerful um, uh, as, a, as a new Web3 user experience. Anyway, kind of rough, but this is, I'm, I'm so excited. This is the future, man.